Hi everybody, this is Titi Readings and hi Virgo. Let's see what are the messages that pop out for you guys. This is going to be for Virgo. It's going to be for Virgo. In case this resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended to find out how is your person thinking, feeling about you. Their next moves, outcome of ice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. So do check it out. It will be linked below. And your self-love message, of course. What do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo? King of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the High Priestess. Are you cutting somebody out? Let's see, though. Are you thinking about doing that? What do we have for Virgo? We have the Ace of Wands, a new start, a new start. I see you in a very action-oriented energy, Virgo, like you're taking action towards something or you feel like doing something about it. You know, it's not like sitting and pondering about it. It's like, okay, I'll make something happen kind of an energy. I'll do something about it kind of an energy. You see? I will do what I can to make it happen for myself. That vibe, okay? I also see you very focused in something in your life. Doing something about it kind of an energy, okay? working on a project you're working on something money wise aren't you okay I see you focused on yourself yeah it's like you're letting somebody be and you're focusing on yourself Virgo it's like this person needs to make up their mind and if they're not making up their mind I'm not gonna sit here and wait for them I'm gonna do something else there's something new and a very passionate energy here and a very action-oriented energy. I see you taking action towards something. A goal of yours, your business, your finances, your whatever it is that you're taking action towards. Okay. Your advice is the Ten of Cups. Yeah, I can see that. Your overall energy is the Knight of Cups with the Moon. Something here came to an end due to somebody keeping secrets or not being clear enough. I do feel like the situation between you and somebody was not clear, okay? Um, you just felt stuck somewhere. Um, and it was because the other person was not making up their mind about it. I just feel like somebody was not, fe was not being truthful here.
Now the thing here is that I see a very happy energy here with the Ten of Cups and the Hierophant. This is that emotional fulfillment that you are working on and you will move towards eventually in the future. I see you working on something. I see you working on your goals, your intuition, a project, giving into a certain situation, making things right, fixing what can be fixed and letting go of the rest. Now you are hoping for love here, you are. But it's like, I need to heal myself. And yes, you could be hoping for love, but you remember something from the past, something heartbreaking, something that broke your heart. Moving into the future, you have three of swords, six of cups, and the star. I see you healing, I see you very hopeful, and I see you manifesting something big for yourself. However, I see somebody from the past coming in too. Somebody you're familiar with, could even be a friend. This could be some sort of this, you know, um, confusing energy coming from a friend as well some of you have had a fallout with a friend of yours as well not just a lover but i do feel like there's somebody here who wants to unite with you we have three of cups energy for whoever you're connecting with they want to unite with you and people say three of cups is they, they just keep saying it's it's a third party it's not always a third party it could just be that they want to you you know they want to be happy they want to meet up with you again but it could be a third party if there is in your situation. You would know. But let's see. Tell me about the Ten of Cups for Virgo's advice. You view them as somebody who cannot make up their mind. And you don't like that. Five of Swords. This is deep. I feel like, um, Virgo, you actually put your happiness in another person's hands. And you're being told here to take charge of your happiness again. Of what emotionally fulfills you. It's telling me that you know the truth or you know something so see it clearly the clarity that you need you have it what is the hierophant wow your your advice is to take control back of your happiness of what makes you happy and also to cherish little things in life and also to see the good in little things but mainly it is to take your control back or to be responsible for your own happiness in something. Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. A very independent energy and a very stable energy. Something about a wish fulfillment for some of you. This could be about money. You could get like, you know, this is um, making money or um, investing and making money out of it. Your business. I do see you focused on that. Like I said in the beginning that I see a very action oriented energy. But I see you reaching a very stable place in the future and a very independent place. Okay. Doing good financially. Some of you may have learned something new or learning something see we have the tower here mm -mm. what is the tower about what is the tower about ten of pentacles okay now i was getting that okay i was getting that because even in your advice we have the ten of cups and the five of swords that there is happiness there is that you know this is a relationship okay um 
so i was getting a relationship but i just didn't want to throw it out there but with this one the tower and the ten of pentacles i definitely see a long-term partnership in the future for you or something very stable like buying a, like buying a home a car like there's a big change happening in your life that's bringing you a lot of stability what is the lovers What is the lovers? Ten of swords, four, six of wands, and the temperance. A new beginning in its own divine timing. Something new and something good is up, about to happen to you with the temperance and the six of wands energy. This is something big. I see a very victorious energy around you, by the way. So you could be getting, getting a lot of attention from people. I also see you doing good financially, but I also feel like it's time that you take your control back because with the Ten of Swords energy, if you feel so burdened by a certain situation, it's time to take that leap of faith towards something that's actually gonna be worth it. We have Coffin here, endings bringing new beginnings. You're headed towards a new beginning in your life. But there's a little bit of that hurt and heavy energy that you have attached to a past situation. There's that idea in your mind that keeps hurting you. Or you keep thinking about a certain situation and it hurts you. But you're letting go. It's like you're turning off your emotions towards somebody. What do we have for Virgo? Boat. Receiving what you need. We have Cupid's arrow and coffee cup at the bottom of the deck. I see you meeting up with somebody. I see you reconciling with somebody. Have faith that love is coming. Surprise of an invitation or a meeting. And meeting and conversing, y'all. Yeah. I see you meeting up with somebody. We have boat, clock, and keys on the ring. Receiving what you need. Need time takes time. Many options. Um, well, I feel like something is coming up here for you in the future, but it is going to take some time to unfold for you, Virgo, with the boat and the clock energy. And I feel like you will have options in love. But coming from the past, I feel like there's somebody who was stringing you along as well. Somebody who was very unsure about what they wanted. We have reconciliation at the bottom of the deck here. I do see a reconciliation, but I see a better energy in the future for you. And looking at your advice, your advice here is to take control back. I also feel like, ooh, I just got, ooh, there could be gossip about you as well. Like people could be talking about you, about what you have, ach about what you have achieved like your family or somebody you know, somebody close to you talks about you a lot. And it's, it's telling you to be mindful of those people. They're also telling me to tell you to pay attention to the red flags early on in the relationship. That's also your advice. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. New love, past life. Yeah, I feel like there's a past situation as well as a new situation here. But this card, of course, has a deeper meaning. However, I do feel like there is new love here for you. A new person. Trust. This situation is calling in for you to have faith. You're being told here to have faith. And that there's something new about to unfold for you. What do we have for Virgo, please? Check out the link in the description box, Virgo. It will take you to the extended for further clarifications about the person you're connecting with, your future love, the next three to six months, as well as your self-love message and advice, okay? It will be linked below. Expect a powerful change and a new romantic cycle begins. absolutely look at this a new cycle a new beginning a new start 
you see something is about to change drastically for you I'm telling you I do see it in the cards you're being told here to have faith in the process that's about it those were the messages that popped out for Virgo give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed check out the link in the description bo box for the extended if you want okay take care Virgo and bye bye, and bye, -bye.